Hello YouTube. Uh, today um, I'm going to show you something is very interesting. Uh, I'm building a uh, carousel for web and also uh, responsible, able to do tablet and a mobile as well, and uh, also editable and uh, a lot more features that I can add on. So by using uh, uh, Tailwind and uh, React. Uh, JS app or you can use it in React TypeScript as well so this is will be the end uh, result I refresh in it I have uh, three cards four cards actually one is uh, hiding if you go right so right if you go left so this is where pulling to the left two three four three four one for two and one for two so this is a carousel infinitely loop and uh, responsible as well if you do uh, responsible okay basically it's like that okay let's jump into the code to uh, give you a quick explain Oh, forget it, one thing, it's like an editable, see, inline editable. Okay, and uh, yeah, let's quick on, jump on the tech, uh, you know, the coding for a quick review. So React uh, app has been created. So basically, if, uh, for a high order component, this will be the carousel right there. And the carousel, so we literally will injecting a uh, we're using the cards component, cards component defined here. This is will be the card component. So yeah, from from bottom to the top, we first we need to create a cards component. The card component will include you know the when it's proper uh uh burn in right you were it was set up at the uh you state will keep editable and set editable you know stay available when one song click just we toggle that exactly as you see right toggle that and then uh, this will be the uh, tailwind wrapper right and i forgot to mention you now you should if you go tailwind uh let me bring in a tailwind you will see there's a you know the bunch of the setup which is very useful for example you can do like a this is padding six md that mean me medium uh, width you expand it to pending 10 with same thing right this is mobile first so mobile will be 50 tablet and the web will be 60. oh so here i forgot yeah yeah that that's right and uh, uh high mobile will be 50 and or you can just do you can put other mobile together you put it order tablet together as well so this is bg state 3000 you can change if you do the mobile you want to change it 2000 as well let's say bg slate color schema you you put it to 400 so we'll change oh let's do green okay so save it run it right the color will change let me see why is oh yeah i see here and i'm doing md so that means it's uh this is mobile first this will be the mobile let me move to the mobile side and then this is will be where's the d mean? p10 P10, P10, MD, 
Yeah, so this will be the air. Okay. So that means is a uh, mobile will be pending six with fifty high fifty BG color is slate three hundred for the largest screen and will be pending ten sixty sixty BG will be forty it's green forty four hundred let's say green three hundred let's do the, the same same color schema so level of schema okay now uh yeah we're expecting the 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 biggest screen was green right small screen is slay green slate green slate so then thing but we'll be working very good on the uh uh yeah iphone okay so this is the setup of the tail wing and uh, yeah and for here this will be as the text editing part right we'll bring in the props which is one two three four and then, then yeah just do the tricks right here basically it tells you uh if it's edible or not and then just do the uh, you know uh, you know the opacity from zero to 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 800 900 is the top i'm gonna not gonna be explaining the tailwind here but uh, you can go there just take a look at this tailwind stands for let's see tailwind css probably cscss.com yeah so things like that okay so this is that okay and then the car is done we jump on to the higher component which is the carousel so the carousel here's the breakdown okay and i have uh yeah this is the render p part right and the left i'll define a uh you know this error right here and then the right and the find the this right and then the cards were sits in the middle so basically the logic will be and the filtered up right which is the oh let me show you the data first so here will be the data structure you can add you can add more if you want to I will add it later. So will be the position index position text one two three four right. I have a force active. There's a one is not active. So that's why you see three. Right. So the idea behind it is like uh um yeah let uh once hit to the left right. I'm looking for the left position which is the top of one right and then we'll turn this to the fall false which is this will be high and for remaining we'll set to the truth right and in the meantime if you go left right i want to put the position on on top of that so that's why my position the position will be negative whatever the minimize whatever anything right here position will be less than the lower list on the other side on the right right you you literally will same thing will disable the force let's say uh if, it, if this, this is the case right it's on, on the screen right so uh will be uh disable this act deactivate this because it's the four right and then the uh, number four the one whatever false the position right or says to true but in the meantime and uh because i wanted this show up on the top top right on on the most left sorry so I need that this position will be will be negative one because uh, it will be the zero. The reason why zero is I wanted to when it's list I want to list on top of this. Okay. Anyway, I'm not sure if you get that list. So let's uh, go here and uh, yeah reset. Right. Go this way. That means is uh, I wanted to see two here right which is pulling over there two here right and then and, and a one in the middle and a, and a four from height to the not high right but is a position which is it will be 
you know on the most left but how you list this because this is a uh, when I'm doing the sorting right and I, I when I list listed you know the entire carousel I do the sorting I based on the position so this will be position on most the left that's why I need to low down is uh, uh, you know it's p position number so become when it's sort right will be four and one or two let's do this see four one two okay and then from the left right it, you know same scenario will be happening will be uh, height is one and four right will be turned it on from the four uh, you know active from false to the true but this position will be the largest which is like you find it in the list right and then you will assign that the position will be the the maximum the position you know agree this find it one and add one to it so that's the how does work logic behind it. okay so carousel so here and then yeah this is exactly what i'm saying uh, we only do uh, the active status with truths and then we'll sorting here this will return you know by the position right will be return uh, you know uh, uh, you know it is in order in the sorted order right and I map through it and then go there to bring the cards like index first and also the props which is cut uh, you know called text let me bring up it right here so we'll be the card text right and then this is will be the right arrow now uh, dive a little bit deeper so once you click left click it right right this function will be triggered right and uh, how this function work will be uh, copy copy the entire stance right now so first things first and then this initial this state data will be injected the, to this cursor page so we're gonna we're gonna initialize the use state and then save into the card right so that's why uh, my previous cards will be here and then the, this will be updating uh, those uh, you know the cards so next car index will be previous car car and then do the future right and it's sorted as well so the next car idea is the is the one as I mentioned you know and the uh, this will be you know if it, this case this is the case right and next the car will be what will be uh you know uh a four right this this four will be uh either hide right this will be hide for, for going this way this will be our next car this car next i find that right if you if you click left you click left this will be the next one so that's why is uh it's you know is in the array right is in the array we, we pick the first one right and the other way around right so here and i will be the next car will be a little bit complicated this is this literally just pop one which is the last okay if that's the case with the last right if, if that's the case if the click left so this will, will be our most of cards okay so basically find the card find the next car i'm going to turn uh, you know set set the activity to false which is hiding that right and then the reset that means is that I want to set everything to truth because it's uh, the order is being changed I need to set all the truths right and only I turn this false because I the, the next card the index I, I maybe it's the good the name you know name is in the proper way the proper name but idea behind it is like a really it will, will be the car you know will be turned true to false Okay, and then this will be found a maximized uh, position, right? We'll be found a maximum position, which is maximum position plus one, right? As I mentioned, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted, uh, you know, the add a one, right? Which is, I wanted this is list to the end of the, you know, the display array. Then I set the cards, which is, which is set to the uh, use state use the previous uh, stay which updated the stay which you can see right as soon as the use state gets changed right and then your uh, component will be re-rendered so that's why you see the result change re render with the result. um other than that and uh, is will be the cards right here Oh no, cards! It's a uh, you know it's a uh, 
you know after chase which is just literally just to inject the you know the car uh, you know the carousel from here right and then the, maybe you can do a little bit more um, let's say uh, uh, you want to uh, instead of using you stay right I can do a uh, redux as well here right I just store everything into redux store right and then this page is the same thing you know, once you click a button once the cards being saved instead of changing the state right here and we do it from the redux state right and uh, so uh, that's it pretty much is it um, let me see data cards okay yep this pretty much is it thank you